So to do the xy plane graph, again, it's better to plot first the y prime y, yeah, just to get an insight on, onto the stability of this point. I think it's a better idea if, you know, you get used to that kind of practice. Um, so, right, so uh, by setting y prime equals zero, we get the equilibrium points. So we get y minus two cubed times y minus three times y plus three. Yeah, equals zero. So the equilibrium points would be two with multiplicity of three, y equals three and y equals minus three. So, no. So we're gonna get. Uh, so this is our y, and this is our y prime on the y-axis. So we get two. So let's just say that this is two, and this is three. Let me make. Oh, took my entire line out. So one, two, three. Okay, let's actually make them further apart from each other. Three, and then we have a negative three. Yeah. So let's make a negative three here. Um, now, this is graph is to the fifth. Yeah. So, uh, you know that the fifth graph looks the same as the third. Yeah. Close and the same, about the same orientation. So, um, except we have min and maxes. The end behavior is the same. Wait, what do you mean the fifth and the third? The x to the fifth and the x to the third. Yeah, except with the well, fifth, you have the four turning points. No? Uh, so, if this is zero, we get uh, negative. To cube that's negative. Okay, so we're gonna cut the y prime axis somewhere here, no. and um, so this graph is gonna look something like this. Let's just say here. So one turning point. Two, three, one. So it's going to come from here. And it's going to go. OK, so it's about that. That's how the graph is going to look like. All righty. So let's investigate the stability of each one of these points. Yeah? Starting with the 3. If y is greater than 3, slope is increasing, that means you're going away from it. And if y is less than 3, the slope is negative, which means y is becoming smaller, right. right? If the slope is negative, y is becoming smaller. So 2, 1, 0, etc. So you're going away from it in the other direction. Fair enough? Yeah. Let's investigate the 2 now. If y is greater than 2, the slope is negative. So your y is getting smaller. So you're going the other way. Towards it. Yeah. Oh, so uh, let's so on y equals three. So so this is an unstable. 
this is an unstable equilibrium point here. Let's write them here. So y equals 3 unstable equilibrium point. OK? So we can use this. OK, now the next one. You're on this. So if, you, if your y is greater than 2, the slope is negative, so the y is becoming less. And if y is less than 2, the slope is positive. So you're approaching 2. So y equals 2 is a stable equilibrium point. No? Okay, let's go to the negative 3 now. So the negative 3. Let's use mole. So if y is uh, greater than negative 3, your slope is positive, so your y is increasing. So you're going away from it because you're becoming, you know, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. If your y is less than negative 3, the slope is negative, which means it's becoming less negative, so you're going away from it. So what's y equals minus 3? Unstable. Equilibrium point. Having gained this insight into the stability of these points, now we can go into the other graph. You understand? So, uh, so let's go ahead and do the other graph here. Right. So now we're going to plot x versus y, okay? And we're going to get some insight from what we just said. So we have 3, 2, and minus 3. Okay, I might need to bring this graph closer down. How do you like this app? You see? It doesn't touch the other part. That's why I love it. So, three, let's draw them the same way they were in red. So, let's just say three is here. Actually, wait, let's make it a little lower. So, let's just say this is y equals three. Okay? Yeah. And then two in green. So let's just say that this is 2. And then minus 3. That's your favorite gold here, going. <laughs> right? Uh, negative 3, and uh, the green one was a 2. Okay, now you know what happens here? Or no? Um, to the right of 3, it's unstable. Uh, the slope is positive and it's becoming more positive. And we are going away from it to the right of 3. So that means when y is greater than 3. So the lines will look like... You understand? With positive slopes and becoming increasingly positive. Now, if you are less than 3, actually, let's do the easier case first. Let's do the negative 3. So, um, So negative 3, if you are less than minus 3, your slope is becoming uh, it's 
your slope is negative, right? And it's becoming increasingly negative, right? So basically, as you're coming from minus infinity, uh, your slope is negative and it's becoming less negative till you approach minus 3. Right? Becoming less negative. Yeah, because look, yeah, so that means it's, it's becoming, as, as you go away from 3, it's becoming, more it's becoming, more becoming more negative. Yeah, so it's, it's shrinking. It's getting smaller. And you're going away from negative 3. So it gets lower as you go lower, so it's diverging. So, so you're diverging away from 3 and you're becoming more negative. Yeah. So that means that it's... So uh, where will you be coming from? So you'll be coming uh, from 3 and... Like... Well, when you get to 3, it's 0, yeah? Yeah. But before 3... And when, you, when you're smaller than 3, it's negative. Yeah, so, so your lines are like these. You know what I mean, right? Becoming negative, the slopes are becoming negative and increasingly negative. Okay, let's take a look um, at the case in the middle now, right? Between here and here. So here you can see that uh, you're going away from 3 and towards 2. Okay, now let's monitor the slope. So uh, from 2, your slope is negative. You have an inflection point at two and a half, yeah. right? Somewhere at, at y equals two and a half, so somewhere here. So there's an inflection point. Okay, and as you go away from two, the slope is becoming it's negative, right? Uh, I mean, as you go away from three. So you're at 3, and your slope now is negative. Or, uh, yeah, the slope is negative, and it's becoming more negative. Right? So it's going to be similar to this. Uh, so negative and becoming more negative until you get here. So you're going to drop, and here it's going to start changing now. Right? So you so this is uh, wait uh, you're gonna go away from three towards the two and then by the three or by the negative three wait I drew it in the wrong place didn't I this is Oh, we have to look at two places. We have to look between minus 3 and 2, and we have to look between 2 and 3. Yeah. Right? Because you have to fill in here and in here. Okay, let's take a look at um, from minus 3 to 2. Positive. Minus 3 to 2. So your slope is uh, positive till you get to 0. Right. Well, it's positive. Well, the slope is positive. Well, it's increasing until you get to zero. Right. It's increasing until you get to zero. So and it starts to decrease. Uh, and I'm not even sure if that's zero, but okay, somewhere there. Well, it's between. It's oh, no, no, that's two. So it, that should be negative. Uh, it's about negative uh, point five. Yeah, negative point five. Right. So it's about negative point five, right? Your slope is increasing, and there it's going to be zero at about negative 0.5. So, uh, and we are talking here between negative 3 and 2. So, but yeah, so it's where I put it. Okay, so it's increasing and it's becoming more positive. So, um, right? Yeah, so that means we are going here. So, so there's an inflection. So now it's going to change, it's gonna and it's going to become it's going to stay positive, but it'll less become less positive, and you're going to go to its two. Yeah. 
So it becomes zero at two. So there we go. Okay. So these are the lines. Just like that. And so on. Now, between two and three, a similar situation is going on. You have uh, a negative slope, right? Let's uh, do another color here on this one. Um, let's use pink. Um, so away from two, it's zero at two, and then your slope becomes uh, negative, and it becomes more negative, right? And there's an inflection about two and a half, so somewhere here, right? So you're dropping like this. Oh, wait, that's from two. Uh, and you're going towards three, so uh, positive. No, from two, it's negative, yeah? And it remains negative throughout, but it's becoming less negative. And it's coming, approaching two and going away from three, right? As your y increases, as your y increases, you are going away from three. So... Wait, so negative, um, it's going to be exactly 0 at 3 and exactly 0 and 2, right? And the slope is negative, so you are approaching 2 and away from 3. Yeah, so so some, something like this. Okay? So negative slope and... As y gets larger and larger, uh, right? Wait, let's make sure this matches here. So as as y increases, you leave three. So as y increases, yeah, above three, you leave three, and as y is less than three you're going to go towards 2. Yeah. So this is how your phase line should look like. I know it's not showing on the entire thing, but it's it's a pretty interesting one, this one, yeah? If, if you understand this one, it pretty much helps you understand everything else. So this is called a phase line portrait or diagram of, uh, you know, uh, what your graph is going to look like. Uh, diverging on the, uh, the uh, from the unstable equilibrium points and converging on the um, stable equilibrium points. Is that what you got?